Ladies and gentlemen, today is finally the day we play Battlefield 2042. I couldn't sleep during the night. My girlfriend was telling me, why do you keep waking up? And you know when you're a kid and you're about to go on holiday the next day? That's how I felt last night trying to go to sleep. I've been waiting for an FPS game to come out for a while that is actually fun to play. And here we are, Battlefield 2042. I'm not going to waste any more time. If you guys enjoy, be sure to scroll down, click that like button. Be sure to subscribe if you're a gamer like myself and you're excited for Battlefield content. And now let's jump into the action. Here we go. We're about to jump straight into it. I am very excited. I'm going to be very honest with my first impressions of this game. Like I was with the COD Vanguard beta. I wasn't a huge fan of that. And I did let you guys know. As you guys can see, we've got Got four characters to choose from each character has unique features we're gonna go this guy Mackay here because he's got a grappling hook and if hey, part of finder from me. apex legends has taught me anything it's how to use a grappling hook correctly <laughs> we're gonna jump straight into it and wow. first impressions the colors are popping the last game i played was cod vanguard and when you go from that game to this game, visually, the, the colours just look incredible, to be honest. I feel like I'm on some sort of holiday resort. I mean, this map just looks beautiful. By the looks of things, you can slide cancel like you can in COD. And the movement is actually really similar to COD. I'm not sure if you guys will like that or not. Now, there are so many customizations you can do within your settings. I haven't played around with too much. All I did was turn off motion blur. I am definitely not rocking the best settings in this game because it will take me a long time to, to get each thing right. But just to let you guys know, you can customize pretty much anything you want in this game. I'm playing on controller on PC if some of you guys wanted to know that. And let's try and get our first kill of the game here. 128 players in this lobby. You can't get more chaotic than that. 128 players, 64 players on each team. There are six objective points on this map. As you guys can see on the bottom right, it's a very simple system to follow. Left on the D-pad is a grappling hook. Right is the ammo box and up on the D-pad is to put out your grenades. If it plays as good as it looks, then we're in for a treat this year, guys. This guy here. There we go. We got our first kill, guys. Our first kill of the game secured. This is just utter chaos everywhere. Let's go. Just like that. There we go. The hit detection feels good. It feels really good. That's what we want. We want the grappling hook here. Get on the roof. And you get a little bit of a swing momentum there, like you do with uh, Pathfinder's one in Apex Legends. It's not as good as Pathfinder's grapple, but do you know what? It's still good. Does the job. Okay, we've got one teammate here to capture this. Oh, man, the hit detection. I'm going to be honest with you guys. So far, it's already been, it's only been three minutes, but I'm having a lot more fun here. Oh, my God. Oh, this game feels good. Oh, man. Uh, some of you guys might think I'm just trying to hype this up or whatever. I have... I'm going to be honest. Oh, my God. Let me throw a few nades here. Oh, okay. We captured this, this point really well, actually, me and my teammate. I'm not sure if there's much aim assist in this game. I'm not getting any, to be honest. This enemy team are pushing this hard. Oh, my. I'm having a lot of fun in this game. When a game visually looks good, you're just going to have more fun. This guy's trying to shoot me. What are you doing? I'm on your team. To be to be fair to him, it is hard to distinguish your teammates from enemies because all that shows is a blue dot. So it's kind of hard. Sometimes you think that your teammates are enemies. Now, something I want to show you guys, which is really cool, is take a look at this. You can customize your attachments during the same life which is awesome. You know, your your sights, your mags, your barrels, you can customize all of that. Maybe sometimes if you want to be stealthy, you can do that in the same life. Sometimes if you want to, you know, pick enemies at long range, you can change your sight, which is really cool. Let's go. Pick me up again, teammate. Where's he gone? Now, the reason why I think this game's going to do well is because it's in a near future setting. COD Vanguard was is tied to World War II. When I was playing that game, I'm going to be honest, I thought I was in a history lesson. It felt very dull, boring. It looked very boring as well. Bearing in mind it's in a World War II era. Oh, this guy just wants me. Whereas this game's in a near future setting, which means the developers can be creative with the game. They can add things. They're not tied to, you know, a setting. They can add whatever they want, basically, because in a near future setting, we don't know what's going to come out in the future. Whereas with COD Vanguard, I feel like they're pretty screwed because they're in a position where they, they're limited on what they can put into the game. We've got like three vehicles here if we need them, which is insane. Okay, yeah, they're, they're coming for us. They're coming for us. Look at the... Look at the... You can just break anything on this map. If you had a sni if I had a sniper right now, this would be an insane spot. Look at this position right here. There was someone trying to snipe me. I'm not sure if they're still up here. Oh, 
We got both of them. Let's go. No, 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 no way. These vehicles, they're just so good. This vehicle, it's not the best, guys. It struggles a lot. What's this guy doing? He was just there waiting for me. Damn. How many did I just get there? Let's go. So far, I've, I'm halfway through the game and my first impression is that it actually feels really nice. Honestly, I don't feel like I've got much aim assist. I know I mentioned it earlier. I don't feel like I've got any, actually. Nice. No, 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 no. He's definitely going to kill me. Let me get in safety. There's an enemy right in front of me. Got him, got him, got him. I'm still alive. How am I still alive right now? I don't even know. I'm reloading. Hold on. I don't know how I'm still alive, honestly. Nice. Ammo box. Oh, man, that is so satisfying when you do that. I can't actually get an angle on him. It doesn't let me aim higher than this. How bad is that? Okay, I'm following him. I'm hoping he's not just going to... There we go. We got him. What's going on? These parachutes are just constantly glitching out. That's something I've noticed. Nice. Okay, there's someone above us as well. There's enemies everywhere right now. We've got enemies trying to take B1 like crazy. Let's go. We're still defending this right now. We got this. I am making sure we are defending this. It's not getting taken from us. There we go. We won that match just like that. Honestly, my first impression of this game, it is so fun. The hit detection feels smooth. The gameplay feels smooth. It looks visually amazing. I'm going to say it's probably one of the visually the best looking games I've played in a long time. The colors are really popping. And when a game visually looks good and it's attractive, it's going to feel good as well. There are so many elements to this game. I'm going to be covering more videos on the channel for sure. This was mainly just, you know, a first impressions type thing, you know, showing how the mechanics work, how the gameplay feels, the gunplay. But yeah, so far, it's looking really good. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section of Battlefield 2042. Will you be purchasing this game? Be sure to let me know. But nonetheless, I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. And as always, I'll catch all of you guys out in another brand new video. Take care.